Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up XEMU which is an original Xbox emulator for Windows. I'll have videos covering how to do this on Mac and Linux so feel free to check them out. So little warning, this video is not condoning piracy, I own the game that I will be testing, I physically own an Xbox as well so just wanted to get that out there for educational purposes. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just open up a web browser and just Google XEMU or navigate using the link in the description to the official website. First thing I recommend doing is going to compatibility and checking out how compatible the game that you want to play is. So some are unknown, some are broken, some only get to intro, some will actually start, some will start and are playable. There's a select few that will, you know, go to intro, start, playable, and they're perfect, you know, from start to finish. It's probably as if it's on an original Xbox. The game I will be using is Halo Combat Evolved, the OG Halo, and it is considered playable. So uh, I've tested it, I know I can actually gain the game, but I recommend that you check compatibility before trying to play a game, thinking there's something broken, but it's just not compatible yet. So there's some really cool features with this, it's cross-platform. You can actually have system link as well, so you can play with other instances of XEMU, but also other real Xboxes as well. You can have save states, which is pretty cool. And there's gamepad support, because it's SDL2, saves virtually all gamepads, and there's a lot, you just plug and play. As long as they're detected by your OS, you're good to go. So go to learn more, and in here, go to download Windows, and you'll start downloading the release file. I'm going to discard it. I don't want you to do that, you would just click that, click keep but I've already got it that's why and now there's a few other things that we need so if we go to continue getting started from the windows section we need the mcpx boot rom image which you will need to manually get from your console the flash rom image again which is the bio file you will need to get that from the console as well I will not be providing them in the description or in the video because you need to rip it from your own console, you need to own the console, but honestly, if you Google it, you probably can find it as well. So make sure you got both of them, I already do. You need a properly formatted hard drive disk image. This can be provided, so if you go onto this link, and you can use a pre-built Xbox HDD image, or you can map your own one, or build a new one from scratch. Let's go over here. And it is really tiny. That's all you need. And the next thing you will need is a game. The game needs to be in ISO format. So here is some information of how to dump a game as well. You can say you can create an ISO image using extract ISO. So if you have a game and it's just in like the XB format, you can use extract XISO. So if you have any questions in general, feel free to message me and the community on Discord. There'll be a link in the description and we can help you out with all the questions you may have. So once you've got all of that, we can actually set our emulator up. So I've got it in a handy folder called Xbox. Let me resize this down a little bit. And in here, we just need to extract every single thing. So the BIOS is what I've got right here. You just run this one there. I've got the MTPX. You just run the MTPX 1.0 bin. And this is the hard drive that we downloaded. So you can just use the built-in extract tool, extract. And we need to extract the emulator as well. So extract, extract. And that's done now. So in here, if we go to XEMU, scroll to the bottom, open XEMU.exe. If you get this, go to more info, run anyway. And it says fail to open boot ROM. That's fine because we haven't configured our application yet. 
So this is just trying to get it from somewhere where I had it mapped before, but that's fine. Click OK. Again, you probably might get a different error, but basically it's in a moaning that he hasn't loaded the BIOS file. Uh, you can't actually see this very well, so let me actually go to the display setting. Let me put it to 175%. Should be at, yeah, see that a lot better now. So what you want to do is go to machine settings and here this what you are having by default you won't have anything here the ee prom will be created automatically you can increase the system memory if you want to for the flash bios file go to browse and for me it's right here just go to that one the non-debug do the same for the mcpx and you just want the mcpx underscore 1.0 bin we need the hard disk image file that we downloaded which is do, 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 right here and we're good to go so click save say setting save restart to apply updates so if we just go here reset uh, so sorry now we need to shut it down and then restart it okay fail to open i had a game as you can see and you have sound as well. I'll just turn my sound on and let me just resize this a bit. As you can see, it is asking for a game. So now you just go to machine, but first of all, go to input and select input one. By default, it might just say not connected. Go to keyboard. If you have other you know, controllers like an Xbox Series X, Xbox One controller, a maybe a 360, PS3, 4, 5, you know, some sort of controller, you appear here, just select that, and you can connect extra devices as well. And then you can use this to play your game, which is pretty darn cool, and you can switch it on the fly. So I've got that connected. There's not many other settings other than that. You can chain the network as well, so feel free to enable that if you want to play online. And that's really it for the view. You can change the UI scale, so which just makes the UI a bit bigger. You can change the scaling of the screen, center, scale, or stretch. Just leave it as the default. And I can I click the full screen, which you, you know, can do. You can go to debug. You can monitor some stuff. You can monitor the audio, which will change. You can also monitor the frame rate as well, which is pretty darn cool. You can also report compatibility. So if you're playing a game, you can report a particular game to be you know, playable or not playable. And you could maybe even put your specifications of your computer in there so they know what computer you used. So go to machine now and you just want to go to load disk and just select the game. Doesn't seem to be loading. Let me just give this a reboot. Oh, there we go. It loaded it then. Let's go down the volume down. Don't know why it didn't load it before. I think it was trying to get it from an old location. So if that happens, just click load disk and then you could just reset the console that's probably best what you should do and now i can use the arrows to go up and down i could press a on my keyboard and a done <laughs> up to the empty profile name and i can go to view full screen legendary as you can see the game is now loading up so it's pretty simple how to actually set up XEMU so to so you can play the original Xbox games on your Windows machine. Like I said, I'll have separate videos covering how to do this on platforms such as Mac and Linux. So feel free to check them out. And the game has now loaded. So depending on the game you play, depending on the specs of your computer, your mileage will vary how well it actually performs plus because i'm recording the screen it's gonna be a little laggier that laggier than it usually would be so that's it you can you know pause it so if you want to pause it in game and maybe you can't pause you know 
at that particular moment then you can do that you can reset or shut down i do shut down and there we go so that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop us a message on discord there's a link in the description and i look forward to seeing you in the next video